hearts all over. <coughs> Two pair for Kristoff Vogel saying as it comes ace nine six, Chidwick flops a nine. Yeah, there could be a little blood here between Vogelsang and Chidwick. Jeff, these two, Vogelsang and Chidwick, have collided over the course of a number of recent streams, most notably in Super High Roller Bowl London, where they played one of the most outrageous hands I have ever before seen. I expect nothing short of these two to constantly battle. Nothing about the bluff made sense. That was not, uh, as the kids would call it, GTO. Right, right. That was just straight from the streets. And then a, a hand or two later, Chidwick bet three times the pot on the flop after some major pre-flop action. Flop came jack high. Chidwick had the ace jack. And Vogelsang has a full house here. Oh, boy. And this is, again, a, a pretty brutal card for uh, Mr. Chidwick. Vogelsang had it 8 9 on that jack 10 5 flop back at Super High Roller Bowl. London. It just had to fold, yeah. Yeah, it's 200K yeah, in the pot. Chidwick just bombed 600K in there. It's like he knew exactly where Vogelsang was at. Let's see if he knows right here where Vogelsang is at. All right, look at this. Yeah, he'll keep on betting. And with another ace on the turn, it's just so more, so much more unlikely that Vogelsang can have one in his hand. Chidwick, oh, we said it earlier, he does not like to fold. Uses a time extension that grants him an additional 30 seconds to act. I don't know if I've ever seen Chidwick from all the coverage use a time extension and then fold. Does make the call. It's a big one developing here. Vogelsang has the lock on this hand. Oh boy. Oh, another nine comes in on the river. Nine's full for Chidwick now. Absolutely devastating for Steven Chidwick. We can assume that he will once again check. Maybe not. I never assume anything with Chidwick. Yeah, look at a this. A blocker of sorts. Or is he trying to induce 55,000? We certainly know that Vogel saying is going to be taking this to the moon. Brace yourselves. Here it comes. See if Vogelsang tries to hide his entire face when he does this. There was a thought throughout Super High Roller Bowl London that Chidwick might have had a physical tell of sorts on Vogelsang. And he has gone cover up mode in this hand. 275. If Chidwick's bet was designed to both be a blocker and, of course, to induce all missed flush draws. Not be surprised to see a call, and here we go, 275. Okay. Does lay it down. Wow. And he's dug himself out of the hole. A little limping going on. I'm happy to see the flop with his tens. 
Yeah, Fox is set on ace 10 at 6. Wow, Kyle with bottom set and a heart draw. Could see some fireworks here. And Leon does check it. Luckily for Kyle, this was a limp pot. Pot? Only. Yeah. 6,400. Oh, with a flush draw. <laughs> Go with this sex. Basically, just cause this. I was like, I was waiting for the iPhone, but I'm not going to. What? Oh. I didn't hear. I got it. Unfortunately, it's still working. That's a move. That's My question is, what does he do on the bricks? Is it personal between you two? No. no. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> 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 Not yet. <laughs> I've spent maybe on the river here. <laughs> Diamond on the turn gives Leon Flusher to go with his set, and he's just going to smash it. Bet's pot. Kyle can't really go anywhere with it. Set in a flush draw, I don't think. It looks like he's up against the, the made hand now. Kyle will not be bluffed. Big pot brewing late here in Trickett's room. I understand I look up late, but why did I look you up? Then I think so. Cover your hand. <laughs> Quads for Leon. <laughs> still thinking about that one. Smashes again. Carl. A real tough spot here. Don't think he expected Leon to have a set of tens having pot the turn. Doesn't really ever have a set of aces. You know, I just envision the screen like saying 100% Leon right now. But next to you, 0%. Is that what you're worried about? about? My call. Yeah, he does yeah, make you're right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh my god. I envisioned it. Carl, Carl, <laughs> Carl there was a better way to find it out. Pretty rough spot here, blind versus blind. Right, and two, for Craig. two of the biggest stacks. Craig leading with his bottom pair and an undercard. Pascal with trips. Like, right. Looks like he is just going to flat. Obviously, you're going to want to raise sometimes with these really strong hands on this flop, so you can have some bluffs, but deciding 9 6 is going to play as a call cool in this situation. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Both players improved to a full house on the turn. It's it, pretty grim. At least for Craig, it's going to be very obvious that Pascal could have a nine. Right. So, I mean, he, he's going to lose a bunch of chips here, but he may not lose all of his chips. No, he checks it to Pascal, who... I guess you, you just bet here, because you have some some of those straight draws you're going to want to bluff with, and when your opponent does have a seven, it's really hard for them to fold, right? Right, you want to be betting big as well. Whenever you have a very good hand, often you want to try to figure out if you could conceivably just make big bets and get paid. And right here, if your opponent has nothing, he's probably not going to call much. And if he does have a 7, he's going to call a lot, right? He's got a little smaller 12 into 31. I, I guess this is, you know, you, you are targeting Craig perhaps having some gut shot draws that just can't call even small bets. So maybe going smaller here. And then when he gets called, your then you opponent's range ranges narrowed down a lot more to some 7x and... Maybe some slow played pocket pairs? Well, even then, whenever you bet small in the turn, maybe Craig will call with straight draws still. Right. If you bet small enough. And now on the river, if he has busted straight draws, he's going to call no amount. Right, and the straight draws you might call on the turn is that those that may have picked up club draws as well, yeah. right? So this river, obviously a great one. You should definitely bet very big on this river because Craig either has a 7, which he's never going to fold, or he has garbage that he's always going to fold, right? Right. So pot's 
55 million. Let's see what he goes yeah, with. See, one of those blue 25 million chips in his hand. Goes 46. Nice. And you see Craig's reaction there. <laughs> It's one of these spots where if you know your opponent is particularly weak and passive and doesn't bluff, you could actually just fold the seven. All right. Pascal does not fit into that Pascal's bracket. Pascal's not one of those. So you just have to pay him. It's unfortunate, right? But that is one of the main benefits of being a little bit more loose and aggressive is that you get paid fully when you do have a good hand. Craig limped in from the small, Pascal checked the big. Craig bet the flop, Pascal called. And I mean, Craig has to think, you know, Pascal sometimes raises the flop with a nine, right? So we can't, it's right. not a case if he's always going to fly the flop with a nine. So he does have uh, less value hands than maybe it might appear. He's looking at him like, do you really have this nine? <laughs> it's always fun when you can... Read the guy's facial expressions. Uh, he makes the call, and completely yeah. understandable that he makes that call. You just have to call there if your opponent is a good, aggressive player. With that, Pascal now takes the lead. <laughs> Nearly 450 million in chips. This is quite bad for Craig, because now Craig has the big stack on his left, right. which now forces Craig to be a little bit tighter. <laughs> he, he, he partook of some golf this morning, Midi. We were waiting for you, but you didn't turn up. No, I was depressed, mate. Thought she was there. Good little golf day today. It's quite good to golf here, isn't it? It is very good. There's not a lot wrong with this resort, Midi. No. Alright, so Josh opening. Lexi flats, Gerald flats, Chris completes in the big blind end. Well, Lexi flops a set now. Just as Gerald flops top pair. And Gerald even queen 10 off on the button here. Do you think he's just seen enough of Alexi, uh Smashing around in pots, he wants to get involved. Yeah, I think you got to defend your bone quite wide, and I mean, uh, I think this is probably a little step out from. Uh, step out from the Sims, but I think against these guys, well, Lexi, maybe he fancies his chances. Fortunately, though, he's going to get burnt. Right. This is a bad card. Oh, that is not a no. Bad That's the oh, end of Gerald no. Barre, a uh, four outer on the end. That's that's me, you, me, you, Gerald, and the dolphin swimming tonight, mate. <laughs> and Lexi's gone big, three into three ninety. Gerald only has six hundred and ten. You hate to see this. I mean, he's loving life, right? He's got top two pair. How can you be beat here? I mean, I'm not sure what the tank's about. Wow. I mean, he's just cool with 300k back. That's very I mean, all the money's going to go in this time anyway, but... Oh! <laughs> that's good for the EV graph, isn't it? You don't, you don't want to pull that extra 300 in as a... Wow, Alexi gets the bad news, just the running queens. Watch out. That's all right. Grinding 5-5 five five in the win last year. Was it? Was Brown. he 5-5? Five five, yeah. yeah. Is he back? Is he, is he, so. is he gone? Yeah. Oh, they're right, yeah. About 3,000. Pass. That was like one of the first main events I watched. The gold one, yeah? Yeah. It was an amazing thing, as you say, he did. At the time, I wanted him to lose. But then afterwards, I realized. Oh. What an eye it was. Heads up. Wait. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Alan Cunningham was on the phone. I know, Alan Cunningham. I wanted him to win it. Well, you, but you said right away, Norman Chatter. Alan Cunningham. Three players. <laughs> I'm actively rooted for somebody in the world. You know, I know Michael McGrath. So you know, like I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm a quite good friends with. Like before he was, you know, he was he dealt in Hollywood. Yeah, he dealt in Hollywood in, in, in the Summer Olympics and stuff. Like, I really wanted him to win. You know, I really wanted. He made the final. Finished third or fourth. Ten thousand plus. Fifth. He yeah, finished fifth. Yeah, he uh, Two points. But that was the year he won the. Um, 
Poker okay. Player Championship is a 50k, so you know, if you win the 50k and final table and main, that's incredible. Because I mean, they say the 50k, because remember, it's like an 8 game or 10 game mix, it's the best yeah. poker tournament, you know, you've got to be good at all. You, you win that and final table and main. Um, yeah, his final table record is like. Yeah, one yeah, of the best. Yeah, well, the yeah, I mean, the WPTs he smashed them. Yeah. Literally, like, he makes the final table. He, yeah, 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 top three. Strong, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. 27 and a half bet. Twenty-eight thousand. I'm oh, sorry, a hundred and eight thousand. Let's see, fold. Pass. Three. Four. Yeah. 